Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is part four of building the Revel Fair Play Tug, or two of them, as hopefully you've seen by watching the previous issues. Um, right, this is what we've got so far on one of them. And next up is the, the main sort of tower, the top tower. Uh, but before I get to that, I decided to go back and tidy up some of the bits. So we've got the, the sort of drum and the uh, little barrels in here and the chair for the the cockpit helm whatever they call it uh, I've obviously done these bits and these bits so we've got the lifeboat there as well so we can get all the all the little bits put on and then I shall be progressing on obviously putting them in place and fitting the outside and the roof and probably the attachments onto the canopy itself uh, leaving the next part of the video for probably the let's say surround of the, the top of the tower the um, mast and final painting and weathering uh, so onwards and upwards uh, I've cut off already bits from one of the kits uh, so I've got new arrangement of camera and what which I might well be changing because it's sort of in my way so enjoy this while it lasts and we'll see if it's a slightly different angle in a moment uh, right so we've got uh, some bits for the raft the lifeboat which has got a top a bottom and an engine uh, we've got the two barrels for the uh, top bit there uh, we have um, one bit that I just noticed I haven't cut the support sprue bits off of uh, for the cable drum which is there which also has these four pins three pins and a fourth pin there it is uh, and the two surrounds go around uh, we've got another little I think it's a searchlight which goes again on side there and another little framework of some sort of hoist or something I'm not entirely certain what that is yet uh, so I've got those as I cut off of one sprue I uh, obviously doing two tugs I need to do another one exactly the same which I'll get cut off uh, get them all sanded down and uh, see what needs to go together before painting I'm thinking the drum itself obviously is different color for the cable on it but the pegs and the outside and this main body piece are all the same color so they'll all be assembled first then I'd be painting the bits over the top there uh, the chair is one color the drums obviously are separate pieces anyway I'm worried about painting all those obviously separate uh, and the lifeboat I saw that somewhere where is it? There it is. Uh, we've got uh, the base of that support, the winch and the top piece are one colour, and the boat itself is obviously mainly one colour with some different colours for the bits inside there, and the engine bit. So I'll get most of that put together, the top and the bottom of the, the boat will go together much like that. Just a little bit extra thin on there. I'm actually going to glue those together now and then worry about getting rid of the nub marks and sanding it down where it's going to be on a flat on a round it's obviously easier to do that in one hit rather than trying to get two sides to match up to each other so I'll glue those four little pegs together now as with a lot of this kit it doesn't quite go together quite right so that's going to need a bit of attention and a bit Hopefully, just some extra thin around there and a bit of pressure will be sufficient to hold the ends of all that together. Um, the engine obviously is a different colour, so I won't be installing that quite yet. I'll paint that bit separately. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yep, so I need to get that cleaned up. Uh, the rest of that these two bits can go together I believe let me just double check that again uh, yeah, 
it's just the two sides to the arm so I can put those together actually no, I need to sand those first so I'll get that sanded that can go together first and then be sanded as one Let's see if there's a different way round it needs to go that, that looks yep that needs to go that way round again not terrible but not great sanding in the grooves there is going to be fun uh, so I'll get that together get the pins in there as well actually the pins need to be sanded separately so I'll get this glued together first now it's been a while since I've done anything on this particular build I got distracted by other things and I'm expecting to get distracted once again so I'm probably going to do this part and then come back in a month or so and do the rest of it. you know the next part of the tower the the uh, mast and that unless I you know get sucked into this and enjoy this so much that I'll carry on with it uh, now as hopefully you've been watching the previous parts of this build so you're aware that I'm doing two of these kits at the same time. I'm doing one as a an old beaten up knackered one, which is in fact this one here, uh, which is why it's all so scratched up and problems with the paintwork around the edge there. That's actually deliberate. Uh, the other one is more pristine and nice, which I've kept in a, a little pot. So that's all those. Get rid of these bits as well while I'm here, while I remember, because I'm sure I'll forget if I just left it alone. So that needs to be sanded, primed, and painted, uh, and I say duplicate pieces all done as well. So I'm going to do them all at once. So I'm just painting one thing. You know, I'll paint two of those together, and two of those together is easier than doing one and then coming back and having to do the other one. So. I'll go away, I'll get these sanded down, get the other ones cut off the sprues and into the same state, and then get them primed, and then start some painting. So, see you in a moment. Okay, that's all the bits primed, uh, two sets of each. So I've got one of them and one of them. Uh, so both the same at the moment. I haven't done any weathering on any of them as yet. Uh, what I have done is sorted out what's got to be what. So uh, the sort of whatever arm arm thing and the little fuse boxy type thing have got me done in blue. So I've got me blue ready for that. Uh, the lifeboat itself, the, uh, the sort of inflatable thing, uh, the inside's black and the outside bit is in the red. So I've got the red to do all of that first and then I can cover over the inside with black. Uh, I have got black for the seat and the outboard for the little launch uh, these bits are grey and uh, actually not those bits, I'll put the other bits away those bits are grey um, the main spool the inside of the spool is a different colour again but I'm going to do the base grey and then go over the top with a darker colour and the two little barrels for the top are in white uh, so I've got those. I'm gonna let's say split up all of it to do the same for both. So I've got the motor there. Uh, that will go with the chair there. Those uh, the other boat. I've got around. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna get everything sorted out and set up, and then be ready to go. Do some painting uh, as ever I can't film the painting because it's painting it's a an airbrush but I shall get that done and then show you it when they've got the the base colors on and then we'll see about fitting them together and doing the other bits of detail on it so I'll see you in a moment okay uh, I've painted all of the individual pieces they've all come out quite nicely now there's two four two of each um, that need some further work doing to it the boats and the cable drum 
Uh, now the cable drum actually goes that way up, but it's got these nice little feet on it, so I'm using those at the moment. Um, sorry if you can hear any background noise or anything, I've got the window open because it's very, very hot today. Uh, now the cable drum themselves I'm doing in steel, and the inside of the boat needs to be done in black. Uh, so I'm going to be basically just shaking up some of this. Now as this is the air uh, version of the Vallejo paint, you don't want to put it on a wet palette because that thins it down too much to brush. So I use the top of my wet palette and basically all this is just dry paint. Uh, I put a little blob on there and then I can pick that up directly on the brush and just brush that on. Uh, now according to the the pictures the middle piece is not painted so that slightly raised one in the middle is actually left in grey not entirely certain what it is or why it is but who am I to change what the instructions say I'm assuming it's some sort of guide cable or something to hold the cable in place in the, on the the real thing uh, so basically I'm going, just going to get this carefully around the edges and just letting it go in uh, now I say as I'm building two of these one of them is the old worn out knackered one I figured I can probably do the weathering on this over the top of any painting that I'm doing rather than doing it in a an older darker steel so I'm actually going to get these painted and assembled the same and take care of changing the look of them when I actually get to do the the weathering on the boat itself this is fairly easy to do the most of without worrying too much because you're actually working in ridges so the brush sort of follows itself into the the right place uh, so I'll get a bit closer and neaten that up and do the edges properly uh, so the slats of the boat and the inside of the boat in black and then I'll be ready to start putting it together so I'll uh, see you with that in a moment one small change of plan the inside of the boat the slats are actually white not black uh, so I've gone over the slats in white I've left the inside black because I think that's actually more you know shadowy and nice look to the shade so I'm going to leave that as it was uh, now I'm going to start putting some of this on uh, basically we've got bits for the front bits for the back bits all over really so the little winch thing goes into that little cut out there so just get that located where it needs to be uh, the boat obviously goes on the top there uh, just checking to see if it has a direction which is meant to be facing the inside ah before I do that though we have the little outboard which goes onto the back there so I'm just going to put a touch glue on there and then that just sits in place so I will actually leave this aside till later uh, this is the knackered boat that I'm doing now in case you were wondering actually I will put that in place because otherwise I've got to put it down on top of that so there's a little cut out that goes into there and then the other bit just sits on the plate so I've got to get that lined up about right and then hopefully yeah there you go just feel where that needs to go into there so that sits on the back there uh, around the front we have the drum which came out quite nice three feet on there which go into the three holes there so I'm just going to get those glued up a little bit across that as well drop that into 
place there and that only goes on that way round as well and it's held in place those bits and obviously across the other side there as well that way around I believe Let's double check that as well spiky long bit it goes out that way uh, which is over those bits no the other way up I thought it was there is actually a indentation there that that goes into so that goes on there like that uh, other little bits that I can't really show you too well the chair for the pilot use a pair of tweezers to put in place before I do the surround to the tower I'm going to weather the chair a bit because that's obviously going to be hidden away underneath uh, right at the back there's the little I don't know what it is fuse box or whatever something goes just in there where I can't get because of that damaged post that I put in there try that again there you go that's that in there and then the two barrels just sit onto the front pieces there so I'm going to glue along those first and then drop on barrel and that is that bit done if I can get that the right way up there we go uh, so that's all of those pieces put on making it a little bit more realistic a little bit more lifelike now tweak that a touch where that isn't quite the right way round anymore although it being a bit broken is probably par for the course on this this boat uh, so I'm going to do exactly the same again with the other one and then I'll be able to start on the actual tower itself so once I've done a little bit of weathering on bits that will be covered over on this one so I'll uh, see you when I've got some more bits off the sprue and the next step, which is the final part of this build, this part of the build, is the tower assembly. Now, for all their wisdom, because it is quite big windows, they've made all these parts transparent. So basically what I'm going to have to do is mask off the windows and then basically paint the rest of it. Now, I was thinking about it and looking at the instructions, <coughs> they do actually say to paint the inside in uh, beige and then the outside is going to be in the white with obviously the detail pieces on air as well uh, the top uh, basically the same it says to paint the inside in uh, L on that one which is uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the red mix which I've got done up um, and then the obviously the inside piece <coughs> is also beige which is the little I don't know, some sort of light system or something I'm not sure not entirely certain but that goes on the inside of the top piece and the only bit of that that's unpainted are the little windows around the edge so just for fun as I've got to paint the inside and the outside I've got to mask both sides of the windows so it involves cutting out some masking tape to cover let's say the six panels on there and then exactly the same on the inside as well um, I th think I shall have to figure out how to do it um, now the pieces obviously go together and 
and form one sort of square obviously with the roof on the top of that um, I'm thinking I might paint them all separately and then put them together although that makes uh, no, they're actually different colors so that's okay uh, no, the edge of this has got to be white. I'll oh, just detail pieces of white on there, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I'll paint them all separately, uh, prime them in grey, and then cover them in whatever colours they need to be. Uh, once they're all painted up, I can get rid of the masking, and we'll go from there. Uh, obviously, as ever, I've got these uh, six pieces there. I've got another six pieces to cut off the screw and do exactly the same again on the other version of the boat. Um, the masking I shall be using, if I've got it somewhere, because obviously I didn't get it out already because that would be organised. Um, the normal Tamiya masking tape, which I have just stuck down to itself. Ah, oh dear. There we go. Uh, right, what I shall be doing, as ever with this, is basically tearing off a strip sticking it down and then with a knife cutting out the shapes I need uh, doing it freehand basically just getting roughly the right shape and then I can sort of trim and put extra pieces on to cover corners and things there are little windscreen wiper things on here as well I can just see moulded in so I'm going to have to be repaint those over once I I'm not going to mask around them. So basically, I'm just going to be cutting out, get rid of the edge piece because I don't need the perforated bit. Uh, for instance, this lower side here is about that big and about that big. It does look like it has rounded corners though, so I'm going to need to work on those. So basically, covering about there. too bad but it does need a little bit finer work on that and basically doing the same again on the inside so so I'll tidy up the edges and neaten those up but once that's done on all of the windows I get it primed in grey and then start putting in some colours so I'll uh, see you in a moment right that's all primed and painted I've done the interior in a beige as it says and the exterior in the white uh, the roof I've done with the red mix inside and the outside in the normal red and a grey top I actually brush painted the, the grey so you having to mask all the bit around the edge and everything and then brushed white on the edge which I need to touch up again but I'll do that in a moment again uh, what I was going to do now is see if my plan with the masking has actually worked um, the painting on these bits haven't been finished I uh, do need to do the red on the the life rings and things like that again but I've got the other one say for the other the other tug ready so uh, these ones I actually did with multiple pieces of masking tape so I'm not sure how it's going to work taking it off so we'll try and see hopefully I'll be able to reuse this masking directly onto the second piece if I can get it peeled off in one. There are a couple of the other pieces I managed to do with one piece of tape that I cut nicely so hopefully that comes off there and goes back on exactly the same place on exactly the same piece and then I can mask and paint that one as well. Uh, there's a little bit of bleed throughout the top there but not too much of a problem. Uh, this one's actually the one that's got a windscreen wiper on there as well, so... Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to do all of these 
live. I was just going to get both sides of this off so we can see if it's worked. That on there. Right, so yeah, not too bad at all. You can see through the window and it's a little bit of touching up around the edge. It was always going to be necessary. So highlighting the uh, windscreen wipe a bit there as well. So yeah, I'm happy that that is going to work. Uh, so I'm going to get all of these transferred across to all the other bits, uh, get them painted up as well, and then uh, I can start on the assembly of both of them. And say so then we'll see where we are. Uh, a little bit, I say more touching up on the white to do on this white going over the red was always going to be fun and this obviously has got the windows to come off as well hopefully they come through as well I'll find out when I get all the other bits sorted out so uh, see you in a moment when more of that's done well there we have it all of the side panels and the roofs painted up uh, these two obviously bits of the interior I don't know if it's some sort of light or something that basically just sits on the inside here but they're both pretty much identical uh, the roofs I did the outside bit in the wrong color so I've gone back on the second one managed to get the right color I've re-sprayed it with the signal red which is a more metallic reflective red closer to the the actual picture in the win in the uh, pictures um, excuse any background noise it's very hot here I've got the window open uh, the other one I brush painted afterwards so it's a bit patchy which is what I'm going for with the older one so that's going to be with the older sort of damaged kit and this is going to be the new kit uh, as I say these two are basically the same so just one of those over there and one over here um, now the other four pieces the four walls basically I've got to decide if there's any real differences between them which one's better than the other and everything else I did notice that on a couple of these I did have some problems with the the painting so I'm going to put those over there as the worst ones and these are the better ones uh, these ones didn't appear wildly different actually there's some spattering on that one and the windscreen wiper isn't quite so good so I'm going to make that a worse one and that the better one and these two again not much between it a little bit of splatter on that one and that one's a bit better so I'm going to go with that one being the better one and that one being the worst one uh, I do still need to touch up the white around the edges of the roof but I can do that when it's assembled what I need to do now um, is get the the good one assembled properly which shouldn't be a problem basically the four sides go together and it goes over the the base like that and then the roof goes on the top so that's that's the easy bit the more challenging bit is the broken worn out one now what I'm going to do on this is obviously dirty it up weather it wear it um, a lot of it's going to be on the inside as well so I can't do that once it's assembled so I need to do that first I'm also going to break and scratch up some of the windows uh, so for doing that the first step on doing a couple of the windows I'm just going to put some cracks in them now I'm just going to use a, a knife uh, let's move back a bit so I'm in the middle uh, basically I've got to go for one of these interior, interior doors I'm just going to scratch in some cracks going from one corner like they would now on a small window it might not be too noticeable actually I don't know I can see that but only if the light catches it right I don't know if that's coming out on camera at all let's do one of the bigger windows as well and see uh, let's go back for one over this side that one let's say it's broken from there so it's going to crack across that way perhaps not all the way across that one probably will go all the way across and something like that so that yeah you can see that as a definite damage window um, I'm going to drill out a couple of them as well using a Dremel which is too noisy to actually do on camera so I'll do that in the background and uh, 
then basically put some muck and dirt around them and then get them, get them assembled. So that's, I think that way around, no, that's the other one, that's that one, yeah. So once I've got them assembled again after doing the, the damage to them, I can see about painting and weathering them up on the inside before putting them, putting the lid on as it were. Uh, so that's that so far. Um, see you in a moment, we'll see how much further we get. Right, I've drilled out a window and used the knife around the edges just to straighten it up and stop it being rounded when I, from the drilling. Uh, now I'm using some, what have I got here? Uh, Starship wash. I know it's not Starship, but it's a nice colour, nice and grimy. Uh, so what I'm actually doing is basically just smearing some around the bottom edges and bottom corners of all the windows on the inside but I will do some more on the outside as well Ooh, if I don't throw the brush away and I'll show you what that looks like from the outside in a sec let's just get all of these six done now this is not being neat about it just as Ted would say, slapping it on to a degree, slapping it on in particular places, shall we say. So that makes the windows look like that, which is pretty much what I'm going for, old and decrepit, and that bottom one doesn't look quite right. Uh, I'll do a bit more sort of detail work on them as well. I just wanted to get some done on the inside before I put them together. Uh, so basically I'm doing that on all of them, dirtying it all up, making it look not, not exactly abandoned, but used, lived in. So I'm going to get all of these windows done like that. A bit more on some, a bit less on others, just to give it a proper used look. Um, and then I'll do some more work on the outside, then get this together. See you in a moment. Right, I'm putting the uh, dirty one aside for now and going to get the, the clean one built. Uh, the life belt thing has got the front, so basically that one goes there with a side next to it like that. I figure the best way of doing this is actually to build it in, in place because then I can get the, the square of it just right. If I try and build it out then chances are I'm not going to get it quite square enough. So what I'm going to do is uh, pop that first piece in, just gently resting it there, and then using the extra thin, I'm going to put some down the edge here, where this is going to join up, and get that in place on there. Now, unfortunately, I'm filming from the top and looking from the side. So you can't really see what's going on. Basically, just making sure that seam down the edge there actually lines up. I'm going to get all of it done, and then hopefully I'll be able to just pop it out of the stand, out, out from the, the base, and make sure it sets properly in the right place. So... I'm not sure if I should be using a canopy glue for this being a clear piece, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to try this and see what happens. So hopefully that's, let's say, square. The top certainly looks okay. And if I can get this lifted out, then hopefully I can add a little bit more glue where I need to and get it just right again actually if I get the top glue on as well let's get it the right way around the big window at the front which is this side so it goes there goes in there like that so I shall get some glue on the top in the big places and a little bit around the edge where I know some of it's going to go Get that on and then 
hopefully turn it upside down yeah there you go feel that locating where it needs to be and I can also see that the bottom bits get lined up properly looking good so far do need to touch up the white around there and down the seams as well so I'll get that done before I install it properly but once again I'm just going to slot that on to make sure it is all square and where it should be and that's starting to come together I forgot and didn't realize that the the bottom part of this is completely covered by the, the floor on the other bit so again really didn't need to be painted in any way shape or form but it also gives me a bit more free reign to be able to make sure those bits are glued together get all four of those seams set and then I think I'll add a little bit more to suck into the top piece there as well so knowing that I can touch it up with the white anyway not too much of a problem for me So there we go, that's that. Uh, going to be doing the same with the other one. Uh, but need to touch up the paint on that again to make that a little bit worse for wear as well. So although the seams on this I'm going to go over and touch up and make sure all the white blends in properly. I'm going to be doing almost the opposite on the other one and making sure it doesn't blend in at all. quite right there there we go that's better I'm going to put that back on there to set to make sure it is properly in where it needs to be so I'll uh, see you in a moment when that's dry that's it together and that's uh, going to call it a day for this edition this episode um, what I've done is basically glued the tower on uh, I've gone round a little bit more on the old one and put some more of the uh, the grime on the drum and around sort of the edges of where the the uh, tower's gone on so that's dirtied it up quite nicely made it look like it belongs i think the tower was looking a bit more worn than the rest of it so i went back and dirtied up the rest of it a bit i still need to go back and do more but that's i say can be done ongoing um the new clean version is looking nice and clean uh, you can so really see the, the comparison between the two is becoming a lot more apparent now so I'm happy with how it's coming along uh, thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed the build um, sorry it's been so long between episodes but uh, there'll be another one along shortly which with any luck should be the final one uh, unless I do another one for the final painting and weathering basically i've got to put the rest of the the furniture on the big the big mast and the stairs onto the tower and things like that so uh thanks for watching so far and uh stay tuned subscribe to the channel um get alerts for the next content and uh we'll see you soon for the next part again thanks for watching <laughs>